Hey there! In this video I want to discuss the options of creating amazing interface animations with Apple Keynote. And I know this might sound a bit odd because there are obviously better tools out there. For example After Effects, Kite, Framer, you name it. Those tools were created especially for making your interfaces animated. So why not just use them? The thing is Keynote is a great tool and a lot of people use Keynote but they do not know that they can create interface animations with it. So this is my tutorial on how to create animated interfaces with Apple Keynote. So we start by opening an empty presentation and by changing the resolution to the of the resolution of an iPhone because we are going to create an iPhone interface in this case. All right, just activate the rulers. Okay, so we start with the loading screen. I have all my assets ready. So this will be um, a running application just for information. And we have to check which screen to use here. Oh, those are the wrong screens, obviously. No, no. Yes. This is the background. We can lock it with uh, Command L, so we do not ex accidentally um, select or move this. Next thing we want to do is add the animated asset here, which is some kind of faking the fingerprint scan. And we want to make it appear and then move down the screen. And we do that by selecting the asset and then making it move, not to the right, but to the bottom. That's right. And then we have to set the duration. And I think somewhere between 20 and 30 milliseconds would be fine. We can just preview it. Oh, it's a bit fast, so maybe we have to go a bit slower. Much slower, okay. Then combining it with an opacity animation because we want to make it appear. So, just change the order and combine those animations. So we change the opacity to 100%, that means it appears, and so that means we have to change the opacity to zero to make it actually appear. And let's just check it out. This doesn't look so good already, so... Okay, just have to play around with the timings. This has to be much quicker, obviously. And then maybe a delay just to have a better effect. Oh, it's too long. Yeah, that looks good. All right, this is the first animation. And we need another screen. And for the overlay, this would be just, a, I think, no special effect and automatically with no delay. So we directly and automatically move to the next screen, which would be a messages screen. And again, we have a background that we have to place. And this background will be on all of our upcoming screens. Then we have the navigation, which comes to the bottom. And we can also lock the navigation and we can also lock the status bar. Those three elements will be on every screen. And just for the positions, you can check it in this arrange window so that it's placed where you want it to be. All right. So the screens consists of some messages that we want to put right in. Just make sure that it's in the right order. I think this has to be on top. Right, and I just use 
Right now we have when we have placed all the elements here we not just need the arrow. And then we have the active icon. doesn't have to be perfect in this case. It's just a matter of scaling and on 100% it will match. Then on this screen I want to animate the expansion of this message item here. So I want to open it up, the arrow has to turn and I see the expanded message. Of course the message messages lying underneath will move down. For that I have to import the expanded message view and move it to its final position and just order it correctly. That's a bit too far. Alright, that's fine. You can also group these elements below and now we again have to add the opacity effect all right and then we also have, we have to add the move effect on this element and again have to change it because it has to move down and then we can see where it has to be because we know where the expanded message is and I think it's pretty good if we just overlay the message underneath so that those thumbnails here match looks good and for this we need a rotation of 180 degrees and I'm just collecting the animations right here so the ordering comes last I need to let this appear these move down and the arrow uh, turns all right and this I have to see, I have to just see and estimate if they have to all run at the same time or if there are maybe delays in between. All right, so first thing would be moving down. Just preview, this has to be a bit quicker. And for the acceleration, I'll leave it just with ease both because I think it fits very good in this case. Then in the same animation, I'll also turn this arrow. And of course, this has to be a bit quicker than one second. This looks actually quite good. All right. And the message appears after build one. And now we have to change the default opacity to zero, of course. And now it should work. All right, the entire animation is not working. Oh my god, why is it not working? Okay. And after. I don't know why this didn't save. Okay, and this comes with all oh my settings have been overwritten. Okay, so now it's fine. Just give it some delay and make it quicker. Right, 
now we have it. Cool. Then the next animation, the next screen. Duplicate this page, delete everything we don't need. Also this icon, go to the next screen, mission. So we have an active item again. And here we have some kind of tires that we want to move in there. So those are a bit, a bit small, I have to scale them up. And then again, rearrange, center back. Bring one forward, all right. This looks better. So I want to have them just move in from the right and then finish up at about this position here. Maybe just a little bit bigger, all right. So for this, I have to move this asset out of view and then add the animation. And it would be a move animation again, but of course to the other side. So I have to enlarge the window a little bit, put it back there. This seems about right. Okay, and just preview it. It's way too slow. It has to be very quick in this case. All right. Next screen. You see it's very easy and straightforward. It's no big magic here happening, but it's very solid and it's a very easy to use access or approach to um, creating those interfaces or those animations. All right, that's nice. Just place it here. Put it back, bring it more forward, all right. And we do not have an animation here, so that's fine, but we will animate between those screens anyway. And I'm leaving out the setting screen because this would, wouldn't show anything new now. I just want to show you one thing uh, at last, and this is the transition between the screens we already have. So for the first screen, the loading screen, we do not have a transition because I wanted it to go right into the first screen, but um, from this screen to the mission screen and then to the stats, we just want to apply a smooth fade. Yeah, and this would be dissolve in this case. Just make it a bit quicker. All right, just see how it looks. And that's cool. And we have the same for this. Okay, and we have we need to set the same duration for this animation. And that's it. Now, if we run through it and you want to make it a video, that's one option, then you cannot actually trigger those animations. So you have to record it or if you don't want to click all the time during the video recording, you can also make it automatically. So if you just fire it up and the next screen opens, then you have a delay and then the next animation starts and so on and so on. And I want to show you how this works. So just make the first after transition, maybe give it a delay so that it doesn't start immediately, maybe 60 milliseconds in this case and here also after transition also 60 milliseconds and we here we don't have a transition or an animation whoops so now everything should run automatically and i'm just firing it with one keystroke oh uh, yeah <laughs> i missed one thing it's not too bad because of course this doesn't have to start on click it mustn't start on click. It has to start automatically. We do not want a delay there. All right. Or maybe we we want a delay there. Yeah, let's set it to 50 milliseconds in the same here. All right. A 
Looking good. Yeah. So I think that's it. Um, you can now export it as a video. You can also save it on your smartphone if you have the mobile Keynote app. You have to just remove all the automatic transitions and then you can um, click through it or tap through it when you're in front of your client or maybe if you're using this for a pitch presentation you can put the video on your smartphone and because we set the right dimensions it works full screen and you can sort of fake this uh, animated animation ready to use application thing uh, on your smartphone or maybe film that smartphone and make it seem like it's already fully working. So I think that's it for my first video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up or subscribe. That would be much appreciated. Thanks for watching and see you soon.